Ryan here. He's working with me now at Master Auto Tech. He's a three-time Master Mercedes, uh, what, 9, 10, and 11? Yes. Master Tech for Mercedes Benz, here's 9, 10, and 11. So I think we've got 2,000 for myself, 2,003 for myself. Uh, I was hoping we wouldn't have to do the bearings on this, but when I took the one off to inspect it, and I saw, sure enough, that aluminum had to, had to do something, and it's pretty well eaten up these bearings. I'll have you a, a picture of that here shortly. But for right now, Ryan's going to get, he took the old band off, as you can see. We're going to take the caps off, get the pistons out, hold these cylinders, and um, get some new rings on it, put it back together. We're using stock parts. Going to leave, decided to go with stock settings, uh, original board, stroke. And we're just going to cut the valves on the head and get this car back on the road. So we'll just keep working away. And I appreciate your comments on on YouTube. One of the most vociferous comments was uh, that this tensioner cannot get over tightened. That's one of the things we got from one of our viewers. They said that the, the tensioner could not get over tightened. Well, I would just be curious if that although in person would have any idea how something like this could happen otherwise. Uh, once again, I, I, I did say it does have a ratcheting tensioner. It's very simple when that tensioner ratchets out to its end. Um, if you put a new chain on it without resetting that tensioner, you're going to have it over tight. And that's just exactly what happens. So I appreciate your comments. Keep them coming. You can say all kinds of nasty things. Uh, doesn't, doesn't bother me a bit. Right there, right there's the, the tensioner. So I'll let you watch Ryan a minute here, and we'll talk about the next phase in a little while. Wear like sandpaper on there, hasn't it? Yeah. I bet if we uh, plastic gauge this.